P.J. Hall can step away. He can play pick and pop and draw him away from the basket. If you haven't seen State, if you haven't seen D.J. Burns now, as that goes down for Terquavion Smith. He can't make D.J. Burns play one-on-one -on -one against Hall. And this is where it's really dangerous, that pick and pop stuff. If D.J. Burns helps on the ball. Hall at 6'10", 40% from three on the season. Tyson, first team all ACC, 41% from three on the season. And speaking of threes, K.C. Morsell. This team gets the ball down court so quickly. Long shot, long rebound for Joyner. And actually, long rebounds give a little bit of an advantage to NC State. He's a lefty, didn't get the call. Big fella, but great footwork, good hands, and he has been a major force for State this year. Galloway unimpeded all the way to the... Brad Brownells had to go to his bench. Redshirt freshman Josh Beadle is into the game as the reverse goes for Joyner. He sees the defender's back, throws it right off of him, comes in. Now, I think you should get an assist and a bucket there. <laughs> that should be an assist, or at least Chase Hunter should get it. Great. And if you can't answer that question, then you go to the paper. But I'm not troubled by a couple of losses. All these teams are going to have losses. But what my thing is, who can you beat? Every committee member is going to vote their own conscience and the way they look at it. All the votes are different. I don't think the committee's necessarily of one mind. But when I look at Clemson, I see a tournament team. I agree with you. Tyson knocks down a three from the bench tonight against this NC State team, which in spite of some injuries this year has showed impressive depth. Burns. You know, if you don't like D.J. Burns, you don't like fun. He is fun to watch. Right. Clemson making catches difficult for NC State. And they still score. Smith in traffic. He's got five. State by nine. Their largest lead of the night. There's a high-low. Good help by Smith. Shefflin from the elbow. And he'll knock it down. Yeah. They capable passing shoot. ability. Yeah, and he's yeah. a capable shooter yeah. when he's open. Oh, how pretty is that? Just spinning off the defense. Two separate plays here. Ross gets on the high side, and he just spins off to that. Joiner thought about it, puts it up, misses it, and back comes Clemson. Good late pressure by P.J. Hall. Hall for three. Got it! And a guy coming off an off-season knee injury was on a minutes restriction early in the year. Brad Brownell telling us it took him a couple of months, really, to feel like himself. How about Shefflin? Smith keeps the dribble alive. Follow won't go. And it's Clemson ball with a chance to push. Numbers. Dylan Hunter, yes! Coach Keats reminded them this is a game of runs. Basketball is a game of runs. We went on our, ours, they went on theirs. Everybody just settle back in. Well, they continue to be on theirs. A steal and finish for Dylan Hunter. And when you're driving, that initial, look how the, the help is positioned. He's driving into three Clemson Tigers. There is nowhere to go. And just really good hands by Hunter there to take. If you're going to try to take it all the way off a dribble move, their help side's too good. And Kevin Keats told us this morning, this is a tough matchup for them. Jack Clark with a steal and lays it in. Just a bit of a lazy pass, just... Trying to get it back out for Tyson into Hall. Jump hook, no. Shefflin in the right place at the right time. Kick out to Hunter for three. But what a play by Ian Shefflin. He's got the basketball IQ to look out for an open three-point shooter. He's all over the place. Hair's flying. Jersey's coming untucked. Burns inside. Nothing much you can do there. And if he goes middle, at least he's going away from that left hand when he's on the left block. Shefflin over a couple of defenders for the basket. Now on the right side of the floor, Burns. Now he wants to get to the middle. Always wants to get to his left hand, but they do get the bucket for Burns. Well, the fact that we've, we've seen a bunch of guys go down on some of these back downs, and P.J. Hall taking advantage there of D.J. Burns out by the three-point line. Boy, Smith had Tyson on him, elected to pass off instead of... Going at him. Joyner rejected by Hall. That surprises me. Smith can get by just about anybody and had a big guy on him, but passed the ball away. And to help. And that help is so well positioned. P.J. Hall right in the middle of the lane. Everybody in the appropriate gap. 
Smith with his third field goal of the night. State back within four. A roll replace action. Clark for three. Hunter's got good speed. Good passer. How about that pass? Shefflin for three. The assist to Chase Hunter. Final minute of the first half. Clemson to buy a half dozen. Same play again. That roll replace action. Deep one for Clark. And it goes. And then the roll action. So all the defense is going to the roll. Shefflin recovers, but Jack Clark replaces up. So they in the ACC, they've got some good wins, but a couple of losses that jump out on you. Joe Lenardi right now has them out of the field in the first four out as Hunter knocks down another one. Well, you can see Chase Hunter with those two buckets after halftime. The second one coming in transition after a, a sloppy turnover by NC State. Oh, yeah. what, what do you do to stop that? He's going to get going the way he wants to get going. You play against anybody like him? Not quite like him, no. Hunter again. Like DJ Burns was probably Jim Smith of Ohio State playing pro ball in Italy. When he, he took him a while to get down the court, he was older, but when he did, boy, he locked you down. Degree cut by Jack Clark. And look at look at this. I mean, are you kidding me? That's a lot of con Jack Clark hit a couple of big threes in the first half for the Wolfpack. I'm so impressed with Clemson's defense. Good cut. And how about a nice pretty bounce pass from Burns and stayed within three. Well, D.J. Burns posting up on the wing and just a quick try to stay loose a little bit. Tyson. Yes. Right, when he when he shoots it from the catch spot, it's down. Hunter being aggressive and it swatted away. But there for the follow is R.J. Godfrey. Gravion Smith now three for 11. Good look here. And it goes for Dylan Hunter. Great ball movement by the Tigers. And Kevin Keats wants another timeout. A good work by Ben Middlebrooks down in the low post. That was chest to chest. Well, Coach Keith trying to infuse some positivity in his guys, saying, hey, we're fine, we're fine, but we've got to get stops and we've got to rebound. Them not rebounding has been a big issue. They talked about going into some zone here. We'll see if they do it. Middlebrooks was able to break contact and get around, knock that ball away. Just a, a lazy pass for NC State. Now a turnover and a run out for Smith. Whoa! NC State trying to make something happen off the very first action. They need to get a reversal. How about the minutes Middlebrooks has given them? Yeah, just a really poor pass, though, by Turquavion Smith. A pass stolen away by Clark. And again, it's Smith on a run out for a bucket. That clears the area for a double team, and he can go one on one in the post. Hall, oh, turnaround, yes. That's where he's dangerous. In the middle of that zone, he can turn and make that short shot. And it's not that Clemson doesn't want to play fast, but when they get you, they take away your transition, you're going to play five on five in the half court, and their gap protection is excellent. And Clemson, now they're in a horn set back to man-to-man. -to -man. Clemson's such a well-coached defensive team. Boy, they're getting anything they want right now. 19-point lead Clemson. Jay, they have had three different runs of 10 or more. Three double-digit runs, 13-0 and a couple of 10-0s. Look at this work from Middlebrook. Yeah, that goes from the shooting pocket to up in a hurry, doesn't it? Yep. More sell. Nice little bump creates the space, and it goes in. And a nice drive and a finish by Chase Hunter. I'm so impressed with the play of Chase Hunter. He's moved over to that point guard spot just seamlessly. How about that block from behind by Hunter Tyson? Well, to your point, Hunter Tyson coming from behind. The hesitation by Smith as he was trying to go through the chest of Galloway. Just and coached him to the NCAA tournament. And then Brad Brownell went to Wright State. And he was a pressing coach back then. Wow. How about Ian Shefflin? And it's Clemson ball. All five starters are on the floor right now for the Tigers. 
as Galloway lays it in. Virginia, by the way, beat Clemson in Charlottesville by seven a couple of weeks ago. Breon pass with a baseline jumper. And not, not full court pressure to speed him up, but actually full court pressure to slow him down. Take time off the clock, and then you've only got to guard their stuff in the half court for about 15 seconds or so. Not DePaul, DePaul. You know who else went there? No. Brad Stevens. Oh. A lot of good coaches yeah. went to DePaul. They will let the clock run out. What a performance by Clemson tonight. Down nine early. They win going away by 26. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.